Today, I'm going to discuss why your sex drive changes throughout your menstrual cycle. So stay tuned to discover why you might be more in the mood mid-cycle around ovulation or even during your bleed itself. Our libido can ebb and flow throughout our menstrual cycle. If you have a natural menstrual cycle, aka if you're bleeding each month and you're not taking any synthetic hormonal birth control of any kind, then it is extremely normal, even evolutionary you might say, for you to have these ebbs and flows in your libido. There are only five or so days each cycle when we're fertile and can conceive. So it makes sense from an evolutionary point of view that our sex drive would be more intense at this time of the month around ovulation. There's also a robust body of scientific research that has also demonstrated the shifts in women's sexual desire and arousal across the menstrual cycle. You can see all the studies as always in my weekly written blog, which you can find linked in the YouTube description box. So hormones definitely play a part here, along with that evolutionary desire to procreate. Our monthly cycle can affect the consistency of our cervical mucus too, meaning we're also conveniently more lubricated at this time of the month as well. One in three women also do find that their libido increases during their period. This is completely normal too. The hormone testosterone, normally associated with men, is a key hormone for us as women too. And we do experience a slight surge in testosterone during our period, which may account for some of that increased libido. The jury is still out on the, these things because oh, science just can't seem to figure it out yet. There is also increased blood flow and increased attention on the pelvic area during your period, which can also add to the extra arousal for those one in three women who do report enjoying sex when they have their period. Interestingly, a 2020 study in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy looked at the ebbs and flows of desire, as the paper was titled, in bisexual, lesbian and straight women. And they found that there were more similarities than differences in how these women's libidos changed each month. Another study then looked specifically at romantic kissing, how sweet, and a woman's perspective of and perception of romantic kissing changed throughout her cycle. So they found that women in their follicular phase of the menstrual cycle, the part of the cycle just after the period and up to ovulation, they felt that kissing was more important than women in their luteal phase of the cycle. That's the second half. Um, after ovulation. And they also discovered that um, estimated progesterone levels were a significant negative pr uh, predictor for these ratings too, meaning higher progesterone levels equaled less interest in kissing. And progesterone rises in the second half of our cycle after ovulation, which might be why you don't even feel like kissing someone at that time of the month. But then what if your libido is low all the time? If a woman's libido doesn't peak at all throughout the month, the first thing I would ask is, are you on hormonal birth control? This can reduce, it, it can reduce your testosterone levels so much, which is needed for a healthy sex drive. A 2006 study found that women on hormonal birth control reported less frequent sex, less arousal, less pleasure and fewer orgasms, as well as less vaginal lubrication. And they also found that it can take months and even years for this to return to normal. Another reason your libido might be low is if you just had a baby, it can take months, even years for hormones and libido to return to normal after giving birth. And if you're breastfeeding, your hormones might be naturally more focused on producing milk than producing arousal. And approaching menopause can also be to blame, as can so many other things ranging from blood sugar issues to mental health stress, um, how overworked your adrenals are. The good news is that Agnes Castus is a herb that can help. It is only suitable if you have already come off the pill or other hormonal contraceptives, as it's contraindicated to take Agnes Castus alongside hormonal medications. Agnes Castus is a brilliant herb for women's libido, regardless of what um, has your hormones out of whack. And in English, this remedy is known as chaste berries. And these chaste trees were planted in monasteries and given to monks in the past to help control their libido. It does very interestingly have the opposite effect in women. So it helps to rebalance and uh, reignite low libido in women by returning their hormones to optimum level. It's been used for this purpose since ancient Greece. Intriguingly, the word agnos translates to both chaste and sacred, uh, which potentially indicates its use as a sacred plant by women. Um, at, they used it at this fest, ancient festival of fertility called Thesmorphia. So make sure you like this video if you found it helpful and click subscribe. Make sure you catch my new videos each week. Thank you so much for watching and here is two happier periods.